Hey YouTube, it's R29 here, and in this video I just wanted to give you a few updates as well as a small um, video tutorial. Um, first update is that, as you can see right there, I did break 400 subscribers. Um, I know I haven't made a vi video in several days because I have been away, and I didn't make the video exactly at 400, but I was aware of it, and I want to thank you guys all. Um, thank you so much. Uh, I think I should be able to reach a thousand by the end of the summer, hopefully. But um, one of the things I wanted to say was that I'm going to have a pretty big giveaway at 500 subscribers. I'm going to give away like four or five promo codes for some good applications and games. So um, stick um, subscribe so you can see that. Um, tune in for that. And um, hope you guys like that. I haven't decided exactly on what applications I'm going to give away yet, but there will be one at 500. The next thing I wanted to say was that I did release a package in Cydia, um, and it is for page dots, and the page dots just look like that. I think it's pretty cool. The current page you're on is the old Apple logo, and um, the other ones are the regular silver ones, so I hope you guys like that. I'm sure if I didn't release a package in Cydia, I would get a bunch of comments and PMs saying, how did you get those Apple um, page dots, blah, 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 but I'm going to show you how to get that. We're just going to open up Cydia because it is Insidia and you do not need any other sources you're just going to need the community sources, the big boss repo or source um, that's the one that I submitted it to um, while Cydia is loading up I wanted to tell you to please go to the first link in the video description and enter my giveaway um, it is on, an app, on a game called Stick Wars and the giveaway actually ends tomorrow July 4th so please go enter that giveaway. There will also be an annotation. Um, so please go enter that giveaway. And um, that would be really appreciated. So we're just going to wait for City to load up. And again, I'll say don't need anything except Cydia and the community sources. And it is loaded up almost. I'm not going to disturb it because it could crash on me. Don't want that to happen. Damn, a network ever? Error? Whatever. All right, so in the search... Um, you're going to want to type this in. Alright, so you crashed on me. Which it does periodically. We'll wait for it again. Hopefully it won't crash this time. <sighs> I don't want to disturb it because maybe disturbing it caused it to crash. So I'll just let it do its stuff this time. Alright, looks like it loaded up well this time. And we're going to go into the search, and in the search, we're going to type in A, P, P, L, E, space, P, A, and that's all you're going to really need to type in. And this package will come up, Apple Page Dots theme, and you're going to open that up, and as you can see, I am the author of it, and... Um, the video description, uh, description reads, these are page dots that are made up of the modern Apple logo as well as the one used in the past. And as you can see, I am the creator. So all you need to do is, for use with Winterboard, so you're just going to install it and enable it in Winterboard, and you'll be all set to go. I hope you guys like that. Um, I did make it myself. And now for the video, um, I want to show you how to get your page dots. Um, instead of your springboard, get them on your status bar. Now, um, this could be useful for people that have like the five rows of icons or the six rows of icons um, and it's jamming up space so they just want to free up some space or if you just want to get them on your status bar, something new, uh, um, kind of refreshing. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to have to add a new source. So we're going to go into Manage, Sources, and you're going to have to add this source uh, right here, Touch Mania. So cydia.touch-mania.com, that will be in the video description. So all you have to do to add a source is click edit and add, and just add your source. And then click done, and it'll be done. Um, then once you have that source installed or added, you, want, you can go into changes and look at all the new stuff that you got from that source. Or you can go into the search, and you can type in status. Sorry guys, that's just my phone. Whoops. 
S T A T U S B A R. So all one word status bar space D and that's all you're gonna need. It's status bar dots. Again, it is for use with Winterboard, so just install that. That's all you're gonna need. Now, once you've installed that, um, this one thing you need to do is make sure you have disabled if you have a battery, uh, a numeric battery. So if you have that numeric battery from, if you have the iPhone 3, well, the iPhone 3 just is not even jailbroken yet. But if you have it from SB settings or whatever, you want to make sure that it's disabled, and I'll show you why in a second. So we're going to go into Winterboard, and we want to make sure that um, any theme that involves um, page dots is disabled. So we're obviously going to disable Apple page dots, and I think I'm just going to disable my theme as well. And we're going to check off status bar spring dots. And it's going to respring. And it is loading up. We're going to slide to unlock. And as you can see, the page dots are on the status bar. Um, one thing that's um, kind of bad is that you can't um, have uh, customizable page dots on it. It won't work. And as you can see, it moves the time over, so that's why you cannot use the numeric battery. Alright guys, so please subscribe, rate, and comment, and enter my giveaway, and I'll see you guys later.